everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my review of Two Dark Reigns by Kendall Blake, the third book in the Three Dark Crowns series. I will be spoiling the first two books, so if you haven't read them yet I wouldn't recommend continuing with this video. As always I'm going to start off with a brief summary of the book to give you guys an idea of what's happening in it. So two of the sisters, Mirabella and Arsinwe, are on the mainland with Billy. Arsinwe starts having visions about the Blue Queen who is one of the previous queens of the island. Back on the island Catherine starts to worry about how her reign is going to come to a very early end. This is because Jules is a legion queen and she's rising up to take over the throne. That's pretty much all that happens in this book which leads me on nicely to my review and how I thought that it felt very much like a filler book. There just wasn't enough going on for me and it's a real shame because this series I think had a lot of potential but I think each book has gotten slightly worse. I feel like the author had a really good idea with the first one, she just didn't spend enough time expanding the world and you know, coming to terms with all the mythology and things like that. In Two Dark Reigns the characters spend a lot of time moving from place to place and there just isn't enough to join it all together and there's just not enough happening. Since it's the third book in the series I would have expected a lot more to be going on, especially as the next book is going to be the finale that kind of wraps everything together. Mirabella, one of the sisters, also didn't have enough to do and that was a real shame because this series is meant to be about the sisters. Instead she was kind of sidelined in this one. She isn't my favourite sister by any means. Um, but I still think it's a shame that her character got sidelined. I do wonder if the cast of characters has become too big for the author to manage in such a short amount of time. The issue with a lot of fantasy series, I find, is that they try to pack too much into too few pages, and since this is a YA series, I imagine the author and the publisher didn't want to go crazy with the page count, um, they probably didn't want to do anything like Brandon Sanderson levels of huge and epic, but it would have really helped to have condensed the series into maybe three books instead of four and then just have the books be longer. Jules is definitely still the most interesting character. I love her character so much. I'm really pleased with how much we got to see of her in this book. The book is mainly focused on her and Catherine and I really, really liked that. I'm really interested in this whole Legion Born thing and how Jules is going to deal with that in the next book. To be honest, I would have preferred for her to have dealt with it in this book instead of dragging it on to the fourth one because I really do think that the author could have brought everything forward a bit. A lot of this book was just build up and that goes for Jules's storyline as well. There were a few twists towards the end but to be honest they weren't really twists. Um, I saw them coming a mile away. I think any fan of this series would probably see them coming as well. It just kind of made sense for things to go that way so it's what I expected. To be honest I think my biggest issue with this book and this series is the world building. I think it's seriously lacking and I don't know if I've just been spoiled by reading adult epic fantasy series like Brandon Sanderson's stuff where he puts so much time and energy into the world building and the magic system. I don't know what my neighbour is doing, they've just started hammering the wall. It does make this world building feel incredibly bland and lacklustre because there's just not enough of it. I think the author could have expanded on the world building a lot and created something really huge and epic but she didn't. So overall I didn't really enjoy this book obviously. I'm going to give it two and a half stars because it wasn't awful, I did keep reading it and I did really like some of the characters. Plot wise and world building wise it was very lacklustre, there just wasn't enough happening and I feel like it was kind of a waste of a book. I will be reading the fourth book though to see how this series wraps up, it's just it's not going to be a series that I highly recommend to anyone. I think I'll do a proper book talk on this whole series so I can talk about like my issues with it and my kind of ideas for it to improve in the fourth book and what I'm expecting from the fourth book instead of going into a huge ramble in this review. So thanks for watching everyone, sorry this was a bit of a downer, um, it's not the best book so I feel like I haven't had many nice things to say but I will be back soon with a more positive review of a different book so stay tuned for that. I'll speak to you all soon, bye!